the fudge. Mrs Evans beamed at me as little Eddie handed over the cellophane package. It's fudge, she said. Little Eddie made it himself, didn't you, Eddie? Eddie smiled and nodded. Dr Jekyll, when his mum was around, Mr Hyde as soon as, he was, as she was out of sight. I tried to force a smile onto my face, tried to look thrilled that the boy who spent half his time with his finger up his nose and the other half torturing little girls by putting bugs in their satchels had taken the time to make me fudge. Thank you, I said, hearing the insincerity in my voice. That looks lovely, I said with the enthusiasm I last mustered when I was told I had to cover class 4B. I'll pop it in here for, for safekeeping. I opened my drawer and placed the fudge in it alongside the eight other identical packages. As soon as Mrs Evans left with her angel, I cursed that bloody mum's site on the in internet. Every year, the oh-so-helpful website for mums publishes an easy-to-make recipe for fudge or shortbread or toffee that was a perfect gift for teachers. And every year, teachers in classrooms around the country throw their presents straight in the bin. I hate wasting food. But there's no way I'm going to eat something made by little Eddie or little Jake, little Poppy or little Violet. No way in the world. I'm with them all day, every day. I know that for them, hand-washing is something to be avoided at all costs. These fingers are roamed everywhere, except near soap and water. Everyone remembers that legendary Clangochlin stomach bug in 2011. And ever since then, any homemade crap goes straight in the bin. There's something nice about an empty classroom at the end of term, when peace descends at last. I took the nine identical packages of homemade fudge from my drawer and started aiming at the bin, doing little celebratory dances when I hit, ooing theatrically when I missed. And now Eddie Evans's fudge, a little heavier than the others, probably a higher snot content, I said, putting on my best commentator voice. Can Jones hit the bullseye? I took aim and fired and hit the bin bang in the middle. Yes, I said, punching the air. I turned around to look for an imaginary teammate to high five. And there was Mrs Evans and little Eddie standing there watching me, looking none too impressed.